given two equal sides of an isosceles triangle seven x minus y plus three is equal to zero and x plus y minus three is equal to zero and we have the property that the third side of an isosceles triangle the third side of an isosceles triangle must be the angular bisector of one of the angular bisector parallel to the angular bisector of the two equal sides so if we can extend these two sides here so we can find one angular bisector which is parallel to the third side since if it is parallel then we can say the angles are equal so here it is alpha and here also alpha so here also alpha and here also alpha so we can say this line is a angular bisector of the two equal sides so let us find the angular bisectors or bisector of the angles of two equal sides of an isosceles triangle can be given by 7x minus y plus 3 upon root of 7 square plus minus 1 whole square is equal to x plus y minus 3 upon root of 1 square plus 1 square so we can add 7x minus y plus 3 upon under root of 49 plus 1 root 50 is equal to plus or minus you can take here x plus y minus 3 upon root 2 so root 50 we can write here 25 5 root 2 we can write so we can say 7x minus y plus 3 upon 5 root 2 is equal to plus or minus x plus y minus 3 upon root 2 so we can cancel root 2 and doing cross multiplication 7x minus y plus 3 is equal to plus or minus 5 times of x plus y minus 3 that is 7x minus y plus 3 is equal to if i take plus here 5 times of x plus y minus 3 or we can write 7x minus y plus 3 is equal to negative 5 times of x plus y minus 3 that is so here it is 7x and 5x that is 2x minus 5y minus 5y that is minus 6y and plus 3 and again plus 15 so plus 18 is equal to 0 or we can add here 7x plus 5x that is 12x minus 5 plus 5 that is plus 4y and minus plus 3 here and again here minus 15 3 minus 15 minus 12 is equal to 0 so we're getting two line equations so by taking two common we can add x minus 3y plus 9 is equal to 0 or we can say by taking 4 common 3x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 and since we required a parallel line so equation of the third side equation of third side can be since they are parallel so we can get x minus 3y some constant k is equal to 0 or k1 is equal to 0 or we can write here 3x plus y plus some constant k2 is equal to 0 since our line is passing through 1 comma minus 10 so which implies 1 minus 3 times of minus 10 plus k1 is equal to 0 or here we can write 3 times of 1 plus minus 10 plus k2 is equal to 0 so that is 1 plus 30 31 plus k1 is equal to 0 and here we can write 3 minus 10 that is minus 7 plus k2 is equal to 0 so we can write k1 is equal to minus 31 so which implies the equation can be taken as x minus 3y minus 31 is equal to 0 and by taking k2 is equal to 7 and you get the equation 
3x plus y plus 7 is equal to 0. So we can say clearly here x minus 3y is equal to 31 is one of the option which is B. So option B is the answer. So the equation of side BC can be taken x minus 3y is equal to 31.